Flash Royale is in a very interesting spot right now. I spent a lot of time playing this game, but clearly the game is just far from perfect. As you may know, the April update is just around the corner, and for me, there are many tweaks that I would personally make to the game. Hey guys, it's Ray here, and today I'll be going over 10 changes that I would make to Clash Royale. These changes range from major adjustments to simple interface changes to different ways the team can manage the game. I truly believe that all of these will do good for the game, so without further ado, let's get right into the list. Number 1. More Frequent Balance Changes This has always been a huge problem for us players. We get a balance change, we're all excited about it for a few days, then the meta shifts and everyone once again uses the same deck over and over again. That is the stage we are in right now, with decks like Double Prince running rampant in the arena. This is nothing new, but Supercell needs to improve their balance frequency. Fortunately, Supercell did say that this is something they want to improve, so I'm looking forward to see what the team can do. Number 2. Card borders. I mean, just look at this. This just ugh, makes the game completely unplayable. Number 3. Battle confirmation button. One of the most annoying things is accidentally pressing the battle button on the main screen and jumping into the battle at the worst possible time and with the worst possible deck selected. Again, this should just be an easy fix, just add a battle confirmation screen. It'll make a lot of us a lot happier. Number 4. Tournament Search Tournaments are just one of the few things free to players have to do right now. Unfortunately, Supercell did say that they don't plan on a tournament revamp anytime soon. Still, I think one of the biggest problems is finding tournaments to get into. This can be improved by optimizing tournament search. Perhaps it can just show open tournaments or ones that aren't full. Number 5. Shop a lot of people didn't like the new shop that Supercell put in place a few months ago, but honestly, I've kinda gotten used to it. But still, I would honestly like and prefer the old shop back, as you could just have a lot more freedom and control over the amount of cards and what cards to buy. Number 6. TV Royale TV Royale is one of the best places to search for decks top players are using and to find off meta decks that might work as well. However, I think it would be very nice if you could add a TV Royale for challenges. TV Royale might show decks that work on ladder, but we have to rely on external sites to find working challenge decks. This would be a really nice addition and show new decks that are popping up in the game. Number 7. More Frequent Challenges do you remember those card challenges that Clash Royale did almost 7 or even 8 months ago? Well, I'm not really sure why they stopped doing them, but I personally really enjoyed them. Bring them back, more freaking changes will definitely keep the player base more active. Number 8. 2v2 card levels and elixir 2v2 is a game mode that tons of people enjoy. For many, it is completely stress free and you can play with your friends. However, I think it would be nice to add your teammates card levels at the beginning of a battle. That information can give you a lot of insight on the interaction between troops. In addition, I think it would be nice to add an elixir bar for your teammate. A lot of times it can be very useful to know your teammate's elixir and adding it can definitely make 2v2 a lot more fun and relaxing. Number 9. Clan Chest Clan Chest is very rough in this game right now. With many clans struggling to even complete the 10 out of 10 clan chest, many clanmates don't really participate but get the same rewards as those players who grinded for 2 or even 300 crowns over the weekend. I think that a really good addition to this system is to add bonus rewards for the top few players in the clan chest. Honestly, I think this is a well deserved addition and can even spark some people to participate more for that extra reward. Number 10 in-game friend request. We all have that one time where you ball out with some random 2v2 teammate but are forced to leave and will never see each other again. Or just in general, there's no way to friend your friends in-game unless you send them an invite link. I feel like an in-game friend request system can be much more efficient than the current system and come on, it's already in Clash of Clans. So there we go, 10 changes that I would make to Clash Royale. What other changes would you like to make to the game? Put them down in the comment section below but unfortunately guys that all the time for in today's video if you enjoyed please like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is Legendary Ray and I'm signing off see you guys next time